No, that's a fish, I think. No, that's a fish. Oh, sh I'm on! I'm on! Oh, yeah, going for a Panamanian sleigh ride. I haven't had a beating like this and someone stuck a banana down my pants and let a monkey loose. <laughs> 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 that was definitely going in the video. Watch your drive, watch your mirage drive. He's on, he's on your drive. Yeah. Pull your drive up, pull your drive up. Oh God. I gave up the corporate life to pursue my passion for kayak fishing full time. And a few times a year, I head to Los Buzos Resort in Panama. There I serve as a guest guide, helping anglers figure out one of the most epic fisheries on the planet. Trophy rooster fish, bro. It's a tuna, we got a tuna. You're watching Field Trips with Robert Field. The land of giants, look at the Panama! All right, so we said one group of nine anglers leave. Now we've got the afternoon to strip all the kayaks down. We gotta power wash them, get everything ready, clean up the tackle shop. Get everything organized because we've got another group of 10 guys coming today. Day one all over again. Day one all over again. Been fishing hard every day. We're a little worn out, but it's all right. I'm gonna knock this out, get ready for the next group of guys. Los Buzos, doesn't stop. Buzos here in Panama. Weather's looking incredible. We got a new group of anglers out here, uh, about 10 guys, and we're about to launch, get out there, see if we can't put these guys in some giant fish. So basically, I'm gonna drag it out, get your thing in, the, and then I'll tell you when to hop in. Cool? Just hang out out there. All right, so we're going through the S-curve now. This is how we get out of the surf and avoid these big swells. Basically, we, we use two different layers of rocks. We skirt in between them. Problem is it's a very narrow margin for error. It's a really narrow path we have to go through. So we basically have everyone in a single file line. Adam's leading the pack. Uh, it's a very small path that we have to hit or you can get rolled by one of these big barrel rollers. And I'm bringing up the rear to make sure everyone's getting through okay and staying in line. So uh, we're rolling out. We'll get out of the S-curve. Start heading out to the fishing grounds. Ooh. Yeah, this is not a smaller one. All right, and we're in business. Man, those Benita fly hard. We'll wear you out on this bass rod. One thing about out here, even on bad day fishing, just catching the bait's a good time. Let this guy out, I like to put it out eh, about 150 feet, maybe 100, maybe 200 feet. Get some good separation. Let him go down a little ways. I don't want him right on the surface. It's a big bait though. It's gonna be a big fish, takes that. Ah, oh, oh, it's a shark. It's a little guy. Beautiful little shark though. He bit off a little more than he could chew. That bonito's about half as big as he is. Not what I was hoping for. Great blue fin trevally, beautiful fish. They are good to eat, but that is primo bait size, man. I'd put that out live right now. Nice, Jack Revol. Good fight. Pulled you in. <laughs> There we go. Got the first fish of the day. All right, baby. What are you gonna be? <laughs> what is this? Hey man, um, and that thing you don't want to troll too fast. Uh, hopefully this is a big eye trevally because Robert just said it's money bait. Uh, I don't know how a fish is gonna get that in his mouth, but uh, hey, we'll do what he says. Dropping the vertical jig. Just caught a houndfish 
basically a giant needlefish. These things are a nuisance, they're a bait thief. They've got gnarly mouths, blue teeth, really bizarre looking fish. These things get up to about six feet long. You can imagine back in the day how maybe some of these sea monster, sea dragon stories originated by this guy. That is the business end right there. We'll let this guy go. Oh yeah, we got him. Got Mark here from Houston. Just got hooked up on the Blue Runner. <sighs> Finally got this Cabrera, I bet. He's a Cabrera. Oh yeah, looks like a big boy. I got here, got the leader. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Is this a Cabrera? Huh? It's tiny. It's got stripes down his side. That's a rock snapper. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my lord. Well, this was all the excitement right there. This guy fought. He fought like crazy. It's it's insane. Oh, my arms are taxed. This little thing just kept fighting and fighting. I definitely thought I had a Cabrera. Oh, that's just the way it goes. Man. Jose! Come here! Jose! Rapido, amigo! Oh. You ready? Yeah. Get him quick. Get him quick. I don't need the uh, oh. the bridle, right? No, no, no. Just go through the top lip. That's how I got mine yesterday. And I would stay out here in like 80 feet and just start trolling real slow. Got another bait on, pretty sure. It is a blue runner. Good luck, buddy. Just checking his, his real Kuberud. Just got John hooked up with a bait. Jose here is hooked up, hooked up something pretty big. Oh, it's the Kubera. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh yes. Kubera? Dude. Whoa. Nice. Dude. How do you grab this guy? In the gills, bro. Watch your fingers, not in his mouth, but in the gills. Kubera. Hey, man, get him in the boat. Through the gills? Yeah, in, under the gills. Yep, yep. When you, when you grab them, grab them tight. They're very, very strong jaws. Pull them up, yank them up quick. Yeah! Kubera in the boat. Gosh, I thought we'd never get one. Look at that! Stud Kubera snapper. Finally got one of these things up. What a fish, man. These are the fish that have been stealing our baits, mangling our baits all week. No one's been able to get one to the boat. Jose here just got a stud on a dead blue runner. Look at the teeth on that thing. So after Jose released that Kubera, it floated back up. You know, when you pull these things up from the bottom, sometimes they just need to decompress. Uh, Adam popped the swim bladder and then went the extra mile, just swam that fish back down deep enough so it would swim off strong. Going the extra mile to make sure these fish recover and uh, so we can come back out here with some new clients, catch him another day. Uh, you the real MVP, Adam. Right there. Oh yeah, what a catch. I'm so jealous. Did Colin get one or who? Yeah, Colin. Nice, dude. You got him, Colin. He's, he can land it. Grab the gill plate and pull it up in your lap. You can do it, Colin. Keep your line tight. Here comes Adam to help you. He's angry. All right, Colin. Woo! Hey, hey, bro. What a beast. Wow. Nice job. Hang on. <laughs> Yeah, buddy. John Ferris here with a giant rooster fish. Originally from North Carolina, moved to Southeast Florida, and now he's in Panama with a fish of a lifetime on his lap. Beautiful, beautiful fish. How was that fight? Saw you getting worked by him. <laughs> nice one, dude. John is releasing his rooster right now. She'll let you know when she's ready. Great job, dude, congrats. So John Ferris just got his first rooster fish and Colin, 15 years old, just landed his first rooster fish. We're doubling up. Adam's taking care of Colin and myself. John, action's on fire right now. 
<laughs> I got it, man. Swim away strong. Nice. nice. Sweet. Good job, Colin. Doubling up here, Los Buzos, baby. <laughs> yeah, buddy. That's something. Damn, the bottom again. No, that's a fish, I think. No, that's a fish. Oh, sh I'm on! I'm on! Oh my god. Oh. This fish is strong. Whatever it is, oh my god. Oh, it's like taking the rod into the water. This might be the hardest fight. This thing's trying to take me down into rocks. It's trying to. Thing somewhere. Jeez. And if I swore, I'm sorry, but man, this thing. Oh yeah, Greg here from Pensacola. Hooked up big. Oh yeah, there are no pushovers, buddy. Huh? They're very, very big one. Adam says it's a very big one, and if Adam says it's big, I know it's big. And Greg here is not a small dude, and he's uh he's struggling, looks like. <laughs> Healing out drag, well into the fight. I've only been fighting him for 10 minutes. Yeah, he don't care. He's fighting for his life, right. bro. Oh yeah, going for a Panamanian sleigh ride. <laughs> Toughest fight from a kayak he's ever had. This guy fishes in Pensacola, big bull reds, big tarpon. It's hard to compare to a big, big rooster, man. Greg's getting worked right now. I've been having a beating like this and someone stuck a banana down my pants and let a monkey loose. <laughs> <laughs> that was definitely going in the video. Good color. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude. Stud. <laughs> watch your drive. Watch your mirage drive. Keep your pedals apart. Push one pedal forward. Oh, there you go. He's, on, he's on your drive. Yeah. Pull your drive up. Pull your drive up. Oh, God. Pull the things towards you. Oh, no. How's the thing come up? Pull the, the oh, two pull black the things practice. towards you, and then you pull it up. Make sure the line's not on it, is the line on it? It might have come free if you don't see it on there. Oh my gosh. Grab him inside the gill and yank him up. Oh yeah, dude, that's a beast. That's a beast. Yeah! Beast! Woo! Yeah! Oh. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Woo! Oh yeah. <laughs> Nice, man. How was that fight, homie? Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh. What a beast. Another beast, Rooster. Woo! Woo! We figuring them out now. Everyone's getting on them. What a oh, fish, dude. Oh. Don't let him go. I'm to... It's either that or lose your knife. I don't care. <laughs> Screw the knife. Like Hold the fish. Man. You're about to lose your rod, bro. Watch your rod. It's making me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that beast, man. Let's do this quick, fellas. Get her back in the water. Oh, oh yeah, dude. You got him from the front? Yep, yep. we got him in the front. 53 to the fork. 52 and a half. 52 and, yeah, 52 total, and a half. Total 60 or 61? Uh, yeah, 61, 62. All right, remember that. 52 and a half? 61 and a half, we'll say. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Blue runner, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Greg with a big rooster. That's what we're out here in Panama for. Los Buzos, baby. Yeah. So awesome, never gets old. There's leader. Coming up next episode, a few more clients knock big fish off their bucket list. Then I finally put out a blue runner of my own and hook into the epic fish that I came here for. Feels like a big boy. Ah, ah, what? Is that all you got? No. <laughs> oh, no he said no, senor. Oh, <laughs>